Hello. Friday won't be a dry day everywhere, but for large parts of the UK it will be dry, but rather drab with a lot of cloud across the UK. Warmest weather likely to be in western Scotland, where we should see a decent amount of sunshine through the day. At the moment, we've got high pressure anchored just to the west of the UK. This weather front has been affecting parts of eastern England through the course of Thursday, and it's just showing signs of creeping back uh, further westwards as we go through Thursday night and into Friday. So that will be a source of cloud and uh, outbreaks of rain. The rain continuing across East Anglia in the southeast through uh, Thursday night, uh, gradually easing off across East Anglia in the extreme southeast through the early hours, but turning quite damp over northeast England, parts of the Midlands too, and the far north of Scotland, also seeing a little bit of patchy rain. Otherwise, though, it is largely dry, but predominantly cloudy, certainly for England and Wales. Some clearer skies for Northern Ireland and especially Western Scotland, where we've got the clear skies. That's where we'll have the lowest temperatures, with some pockets of frost likely in rural parts of Scotland. Later in the night, the sky starts to clear, while temperatures likely to drop down sharply across East Anglia. For many, though, it's a great start to Friday. Still some of that uh, rain and drizzle over northeast England and the Midlands too. A little bit of patchy rain across the far north and east of Scotland. But that area of rain does tend to fizzle out. may stay pretty dull and dank over northeast England. We'll see some of that patchy rain trickling towards the Midlands and South Wales. Maybe the odd light shower across the southwest late in the day. Notice those skies are clearing across East Anglia and the southeast, so a much brighter day to come here, certainly by the afternoon. We should see quite a bit of sunshine. Some sunny spells for Northern Ireland and some western parts of Scotland seeing a fair bit of sunshine throughout the day. Whereas in the east, after some pretty high temperatures on Thursday, a much cloudier and a much cooler day here with temperatures struggling to get into double digits. But in western Scotland, 14 in Glasgow, we could easily get 15, maybe 16, a little further north and west and uh, eyes of uh, temperatures in the teens across Northern Ireland where we see some sunshine as well. For most of England, we well, single figures and despite some sunshine, we're going to struggle to get above uh, 8 to 10 degrees across East Anglia and the southeast. There'll be a breeze blowing across Kent in particular, but overall with more sunshine, it will feel quite a bit warmer than Thursday. With the clearer skies, though, across southern England especially, it will turn quite cold on Friday night with some pockets of frost likely. Uh, we'll keep a lot of cloud, though, for much of the UK. Again, parts of Scotland seeing some of the clearer skies, so here too, a little bit of frost. But you can see that hint of blue on the chart across the south. So Saturday likely to start with some sunshine in southern England, but also with a frost. And quite quickly, it looks like that cloud is now going to push further southward. So by the afternoon, it will be quite grey here. Grey for most on Saturday, but the main exception will be eastern Scotland. So things switching around across Scotland with eastern areas seeing the return of sunshine on Saturday. Parts of northeast England also, whereas western Scotland with more cloud and a little bit of rain over the highlands and the western Isles. And again, that sunshine makes all the difference to the temperatures where we see it. Temperatures getting into the teens, feeling pretty pleasant, 15, 16, likely in some spots across northeast Scotland. Elsewhere, we're looking at 9, 10, 11 Celsius and temperatures fairly close to average. Sunday, again, largely dry across the country, but not much in the way of sunshine. Most places looking fairly cloudy. The winds certainly a lot lighter than they were for most of us last weekend. A full UK-wide weekend forecast available on YouTube. And of course, make sure you're following us on Twitter and Facebook.